Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Where are we going to put psychiatry? We've got the Deluxo Lux over here. And what I was thinking is that one could potentially be moved over here and we could keep psychiatry in here. Although what I'm actually thinking is psychiatry won't go there. We'll put another GP's office. We'll have a third GP office in there. And then we'll build psychiatry out over this side. I've got the money to make psychiatry. And I'm pretty sure I've got the space for it as well. If I just bring that one out a little bit up this way. I mean, I've got a nice big area for that one. Uh, that is uh, three by four on that one. So, like, the psychiatry office would take up less. Oh, I might, might be able to squeeze. Can I squeeze it in there? Let's make psychiatry a minute. We want to make psych. We want to, like, th these are the cheap rooms. So we want to be able to use some of these cheaper rooms to aid us with some of the better stuff later on. Now, unfortunately, I, c I can put that one out there. Kind of looks a bit weird having it stuck out there like that. So what I think we'll do is I'll put the door to that office can go over to there. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra bit in over here. So the psychiatry office is actually going to be bigger than I would normally go for. We will put the chair over here like this. There. And then we'll put the couch can go actually the couch can go here like I often do we go like that and then we'll put the lamp in here and I'll put another lamp right in that corner in there because I think that does look pretty good and then we've also got you know a couple of these because uh, the, the drugs uh, the, the, the drugs are good um, I know I'm supposed to say drugs are bad but in this situation actually the drugs are good um, let me just drop down another couple of these. We want to put that one in there, and I'll put another cabinet. Let's let's have a couple of these. We'll, we'll put that one over there, and then that lamp. I'm going to move that one up there beside there, and then that one's going to go back into that corner like that. That's going to make it look a little bit better. We want a traditional filing cabinet in this room. We will definitely go for one of those. Rainwater... Fell from the sky, fills up over, s reduces thirst, self-sustaining. Oh, this this must be part of the new DLC, surely. Right, well, I won't put that in there. I will put a bin in here. We don't need to have a toxic bin in this one. And we've got a recycling bin. We'll definitely put one of those in there. We'll, we'll drop that in right next to that. And we'll put the extinguisher in here in the corner. We'll put some hand sanitizer in here as well. So we've got recycling going on. This, this is this is good. This this is a really good thing. This is. We will put a radiator in here. Where can we put the radiator? That is the only place I can put the radiator. I can't put a bookcase in here, but I can put a couple of rugs in here. I can put one in there, and then I can put one in there, and I can put one in there that actually looks quite nice i think that does look pretty good we're prestige level three on this room i won't go any higher than that i think that is a rather good looking room but yeah so we've got recycling bins and we, we've got other things like that that's part of this new dlc so it's already like we, we yeah there's a whole load of projects and things that are on top of that that we'll also be able to get but this um the, the dlc we have got a few extra bits Surgery. coming in. Calling nurse. Upgrade the Deluxo Lux 2 to make it more effective. Staff challenge. Upgrade a machine. 90 days. Except I would like to do the research. I'm kind of hoping I get an upgrade machine um, challenge in order to... Yeah, I know I'm not going to... Or making more money. Yeah, well, we're not gonna. We're not out to make money on this one, right? We don't make money on this one. A patient has given up waiting for a GP office, so I want to move that over here, so that I can use something Morning. over this side. Try now, not to slip in the sick. try not to slip in the sick. Right. We'll keep that in mind. I could do with a few benches. So what we'll do is we'll put benches in here. One, two three four benches along there and i've already got a couple of benches in that way we will now 
Vending machines, I don't think vending machines actually do anything. Carrots. Self-sustaining reduces hunger. And then we got the rainwater thing as well. Do we get money from these? I, I don't think we get money from the vending. Let's, let's have a look at the vending machine before we do any more. Let's have a look at the vending machine. You move out of the way. A person's going in there. No, we don't get money from the vending machines. Right. Well, that's not so good, not getting the money from the vending machines. We'll leave the carrots thing. Staff promotion. We have got Koo Sandals is ready for a promotion. Promote. We've got you ready for a promotion. There. Junior doctor to doctor. Promote. That means we've got good news. Uh, there was something about funding right there. What was that about funding? I just, I'd just seen a thing about funding, but... Oh, that was the... the I, I got the, the thingy right there for doing the funding, and there was a notice came up, but I, I kind of missed it. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to go into higher in here. You've got absolutely everything on you. I don't want doctors that have got everything available. It doesn't help me. It absolutely doesn't help me. Staff in here. My doctors. I've got GPs in here. I do have Janet Spoon. We could... She's ready for training. I'm thinking, actually, we will specialise her in psychiatry. Rather than focusing on anything else, we will send her off and she can be a psychiatrist. I was going to have her as a GP, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go with psychiatry. So we've got psychiatry number one. We've got a trainer right in there. And then you are going to be my psychiatrist. In you go. Start your training. You can go and do that. I've got 85,000 still. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to edit. And I'm going to take this room and I'm going to bring it over here. Now you're a three by three. So I'm going to put you there. And I'm going to put you over here, right in that corner. I think. If I, no, I'll, I'll put you in the corner over here. Deluxe Lux. Right, you can go down there like that. And then what I can do is I can come over this side and I can take that doctor's surgery. And I can copy that one. And I can bring that up over here and I can... Dump that one down there and tick like that. We will go back to higher. It's 14 days still to go. So i got to wait a little bit before I can do any more. So we will let speed go running along. 14 days and I'll be able to get another one. Staff training required. Student doctor to junior doctor, Janet Spoon. She is in training right now. Not now. She's in training right now. Look, she, she's there. She's already got it going on. Resolution lab required. A doctor discovered a new illness, 8-bitten. Sufferers exhibit dangerously low levels of pixel density and an unhealthy longing for the recent past. Caused by bites from low-res spiders. <laughs> oh, caused from... Oh, I love that. Bites, as in, look, look at the way they spelt that. Look at the way they spelt that. Caused by bites from low red spiders. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a resolution lab in order to treat them. Get patient to wait. Yes, we definitely want this. New targets from Lord Foxbridge. Lord Foxbridge, contact us with details of our targets upcoming once. See the summary below. We'll need to achieve this if we want. Uh, upgrade machine. I knew there was going to be an upgrade A machine. Get patient to wait. I knew there was going to be an upgrade ma a machine one. I said that, didn't I? Didn't I say that? Deluxo Lux over here. Upgrade the Deluxo Lux. That's why I waited. That is why I waited. An injection room. Get patient to wait. Okay, so we need an injection room and we need the 8-bitten room as well. We want both of these rooms. So we've got 8-bitten is something, a resolution lab. I've never made a resolution lab before. So we're going to do that one. This is a 4x4 required for this bad boy. You want to go there like that. And that one will come out here. I've got a space for a 3 in there. Put the door on here. That can go... Okay, that is a 
scary looking contraption. That is the debugger. We're going to have a big bin in the corner. We're going to have an extinguisher parked right next to that one. We're going to put some hand sanitizer in here near the door. We're going to put a radiator over here. We're going to put a plant in here. We're going to have a chair in here for somebody to sit on. Just because. There they can sit. Uh... You are, it might be level 2 prestige, I'm happy with that, we will stick with that one, that can stay exactly like it is. And I have a look in here, you need a doctor to work the resolution lab. Now I have a few doctors, I have a psychiatrist that is heading over this way. Dr. Kylie Ruck is on a break. Oh, she's my lab researcher now it has also been pointed out that what i should be doing with this is making uh putting these the other way around so we're just going to edit this one a minute you're going to go like that and you you're gonna go like that Bring you up like that, so that they can go between these two a little bit more easily. Now, the wall monitors, unfortunately, they are not able to go anywhere other than on a wall. So I can't go and put them anywhere else. So I can't really put anything else in that gap. So I'll get rid of that. I'm going to move you down that way a little bit, and we'll leave you there. So we, we've just... Just turn that around, that's all. We're not going to do anything else to it. Just leave it um, about faced. And that room in there. So what was the other room that I needed? It was the injection room. We've got we to have that one in. It was the injection room, wasn't it? I'm sure it was the injection room. The injection room is a 3x3. Three three, so that one can fit right in there. Absolutely spot on. Perfect. We will have you facing that way you can go in there like that uh that's the jab master and then in the jab master room we're going to put one of those one of them there one of them there one of them there like that that's got a few extra bits for us that we can use and then we're going to put a bin over in that corner see this one needs to be a toxic bin doesn't it get rid of that one have a toxic waste bin in that corner. Then we'll have a recycling bin in here as well. Let's be responsible. We'll put a fire extinguisher in there. We will go for some hand sanitizer somewhere. Let's put some of that over there. We're going to radiator somewhere on the wall. That one can go tucked into that corner over there. This room here also needs a radiator. So we'll put that next to the plant and fry the, <laughs> fry the plant. Kill it. Um... That's gone to prestige level 3. That's fine. And that's 19,000 in there. This room requires a nurse to be able to run. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So far, so good. Things are looking pretty good. We've got the injection room. We've got the... Surgery button. calling doctor. Surgery calling doctor. Well, we'll deal with that in a minute. Hang on, let's go back to higher. You are used... 23 days. I don't want general purpose doctors with all of this motivation, stamina, surgery, general... You know what? I'm going to hire her anyway. T 10 grand? Goodness me. I can't afford that. You think I'm made of money? This is a public hospital. Uh, Treatment and diagnosis. See, again, not very good. But if I take this one, you know, at least she's got a, a little bit. She might be able to just help out with some of these. We'll go into staff in here and then we'll start seeing what we can do. So you can go general practice, those two. I've got three GP surgeries at the moment. And I need one more. I need another doctor to work in the GP surgery. So you're not going to be... You, you can't work anywhere. You can't even work in there. You are only working in the lab. This doctor here... He can go and he's diagnosis, so he can go in there. He's our only surgeon, so I'm not going to let him go and work in the others. Actually, you know, I think I should keep him out of the GP's offices as well until he's done his surgery bit. And I've got 
treatment skills over here. So he can work in all of these for doing treatments. And that's it. That's my list of doctors right now. And I've got no more money. No other money at all. I can take out a loan. I've got one loan. So I could take out another loan and maybe use that to get some more staff. Or we Oh, wait a minute. No, there was another thing that I want to do. I want to go in there and staff and you over here. Nurses. I want to see where the nurses are limited to. So your diagnosis and treatment. General diagnosis. You're a general purpose. I won't have you going into... Actually, I suppose if you're a general purpose, you've got treatment. So you could go and work in surgery and pest control. Injection. We'll, we'll allow you to work in all of them, not the wards. We won't allow you in the wards. Uh, the rest of them... Clown... Yeah, we'll, we'll let you work in the rest of them. And then you two are working in the wards. And then this dude here, Kusand, or lady who... who I don't know, dude, lady, what, wh wh whichever. Um, in there. So I need more diagnosis nurses. Right. Let's see how this works out. We've got a few people here. We've, we've got a few different ones doing different things. Just for a minute. We want to put you on to fast speed. We've about halfway through on there. So we will have our treatment in here. I need another GP. Hospital is now 35 grand in debt. Which is not very helpful. Maintenance needed in a staff room. I've got this one here being upgraded. So once that is upgraded there, I've got another promotion. Student Janet Spoon is ready for promotion. Psychiatry has completed. Janet Spoon should only be able to work in psychiatry from this point on. I'll go to you. You should only be allowed to work in psychiatry from this point on. That is your only job, is psychiatry. So you will stay in there. Doctor to research, please. She does have... Ooh, look, we've got the 8 bitten bit. Okay, that was pretty cool. We don't get any money for curing him, unfortunately, but it was still pretty cool. We've got surgery patients over here. We've had uh, one... Cured, zero failed, and I've only got a few days left. Right, staff promote, another staff promotion. Promote. The money is pouring out. Public targets, upgrade machine, staff request, upgrade machine. You are taking your time with that. New illness, spinal bap. There's another surgery related one. Quite a few of our staff have free slots available. Yeah, they do, and they could take a while. Uh, you've only got four days, and surgery will not complete in four days. So that one's going to be a fail, unfortunately. That one's failed, which means that we don't get the money. Special report, minus five rep, and zero money. If we'd gotten that one, if it would gotten there just a tiny little bit faster, it would have been all right. We'd have done that. Ten Please days leave left. toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. The staff request, six days left on this. That's not going to happen either. Definitely not going to happen. I don't have the money to buy a radiator to put out here, which would be rather nice because, you know, radiators. Staff challenge, we did not manage to do that. It's nearly there. We have got that. It's on its way. I'm, I'm minus $111,000. How am I supposed to do this? In pharmacy. Like, I don't get any money at all. So how exactly am I supposed to be able to get all of these extra bits that I need to get in order to be able to keep the money coming through? A lot of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run by doctors. That would be because I got three GPs and I don't have enough doctors to run them. Which is a little bit of a problem. Movies... Ooh. Famous actor Roderick Cushion, star of the perilous Spantex... <laughs> Perilous spandex films is interested in visiting the hospital. Shall we invite him in? Yes, why not? That's a potential ten thousand dollars right there if he wants to come visit. How are you doing, Jill this Fiddle? Film star stopping by the hospital. All right, Jill Fiddle is almost done. Buzzkill over there has got an appointment. Go on, you are almost done. That's going to get us some money. 
And you can start tidying up some of this other stuff. Uh, I've, I've got puddles everywhere. There is $60,000. I'm still 50 grand in the hole on this one. But that 60 grand is at least a step in the right direction. I I, I don't think it's going to... You gonna... know, I've DJed at over 20 stations all over the world. Even DJed in one of those cities under the sea they don't want you to know about. But this one still has the weirdest smell. This one still has the weirdest smell. Generate 200 research points. We have got right here... Okay, that 200 research points ought to be reasonably quick. That'll Doctor get us another 60 grand. In surgery. Doctor required in surgery. Okay, we're waiting for our surgeon to turn up. We have at least got people being um, cured, but we've got no way of generating any income. This is a slight problem. Other than these random targets, we've got no way of generating any income. You are 270 up there. Patient is very bored and they're storming out. Now, one other thing we can do. Staff, um, staff overview, pay review, job assignment. No, it's not those. What's the bit that I want to be looking at? Overview in here. Policy, there. Fast track treatment decisions, so they go straight there. We can knock that down to 85% diagnosis threshold. So 85% certain, then send them. That might get people going to treatment Why? rather than Try the doctor. Not to slip in the sick. I got another one over here for this one. This is this is brilliant. I love this one. Fantastic. Right, staff challenge. K points, promote three staff, except I doubt that's going to work. I got another 40 points over there to go. Shop clinic required, it costs 30,000. I, I don't have room for it or the money for it, so... Okay, I shouldn't have gotten them to wait. I should have sent them home. That may have been a slight mistake. We've got 15 research points to go, and we are finished. 60 grand and two reputation coming in. $67,000 in the hole still, which is not very helpful. So what else is Lord Foxbridge going to tell us to do? I, I, I need another challenge. Here we go. New targets. This gets 50 grand. As contact us for details, we need to uh, yada 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 water 10 plants. Seriously? That's it? Water 10 plants? How do I... Call janitor to water plant. There's one. There's two. Uh, there's three. Head office required. Send them home. There is three plants. You've got three so far. Where, where do I have other plants? I don't have any plants in that room. I do in here. Call janitor to water plant. Call janitor to water plant. Abominable curse. Abominable curse. A contagious disease has been detected in the hospital. The two-point center for disease control, TPCDC, will reward us if we don't, if they don't have to get involved. We've been issued a limited supply of vaccines, so it's up to us to vaccinate people displaying the telltale signs of the disease before it spreads. If we run out of vaccines, or too many infected people dis escape, the TPCDC will step in and handle the epidemic. Abominable curse is characterized by a peculiar walk, reminiscent of patients suffering from premature mummification. The disease spreads through a powerful and ancient sneeze. <laughs> Challenge! Four infected people detected, 20 vaccines available. Successful vaccinations bonus $300 per person. Vaccines remaining bonus $800 per person. Okay, let's slow that down a bit. There has been an epidemic. Staff promotion over here. You can be promoted. Melanie Higginbottom is ready for a promotion. Right, I've got shock treatment over there. Now, I've, I I don't know what the, the mummification one is. We, we've got to have a look. Janitor. There. No. Repair drug mixer. Right, this dude right here, he needs the the pest control. I need to be able to expand my empire just a little bit. 
Call the janitor to water that one. I don't have a plant in there. I do have a plant in here, which I'm going to call the janitor to water. That one, I'm going to call the janitor to water. We have watered one plant so far. I've got the janitor summoned to water many. You right here, vaccinate. Scroll down. Infected three, vaccines 19. There, that dude right there, he's infected. Vaccinate. Infected two, vaccines 18. That one. There's another one. I found him. And it's that one over there, look. Okay, I've, I've found them. I've found them all. Vaccinate and... Epidemic yes! Well done, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha! Well done! We successfully eradicated the contagious disease. The TPCDC will reward us for our outstanding efforts. Infected people vaccinated four, remaining zero, vaccines remaining 16. We get successful vaccinations bonus of $1,200. We got 2500 for doing it. Vaccines remaining 12800 Nice. Okay, we get a little bit of cash for that. We got to water these plants. There's another person over there. Oh, no, they're, they're running away. They're, they're just running away. I, I need to keep watering plants. Where is this janitor, and why are you not watering plants faster? Oh, there's the janitor. She's absolutely exhausted. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Put down your pitchforks and take a deep breath. Ricky Hawthorne is here. Today on Two Point Radio, I'll be taking you through a day in the life of yours truly. We start the way I start every day, with some music I don't know the name of. Okay, some music I don't know the name of. You are not supposed to be going on a break for 20 days. Plants need water. Yeah, we know that. I've got my janitor who's supposed to be doing it and she can't be bothered. Uh, yeah, we, we need a shop clinic. I need money to do all of this. I can't do any of it without money. I've got 72000 there. I could take out a loan, but that's not going to do me any benefits whatsoever. Two-point bank or swindles. So, no, loans are not going to be beneficial just yet. I've got this dude over here, famous actor leaving the hospital. So, hopefully, he will... Give me some money. Hospital is in debt. 90 grand. If that janitor would stop being lazy... Head office, send him home. Right, he's leaving. Doctor required in psychiatry. I've got bins all over the place. I need another janitor. That's what I need. I, I need a sec... I've, oh, wait a minute, I've got two janitors. I've already got two janitors. Doctors over here. i got a psych... Milo, M Milo Fidget. I need the money for it. Ward emergency. Six patients with jazz hands. We get ten grand. Yes, patients bring him in. Arriving for the ward. Right, bring him in. I got a decent doctor there that'll be just perfect for what I want. There is an unfortunate thing doctor left on the floor. Resolution lab. Publicity update. Right, we get ten grand for that one. And over here, I've got another staff promotion. Promote. Staff promotion bit. That is done, so we've got plus 25% happiness. Uh, right here, Jazz Hands has been discovered. Hand injury caused by too much enthusiastic thumb-clicking, hand-waving, and skin burns resulting from prolonged exposure to acid jazz. And the Jazz Hands... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later